Now, buying a used car these days has changed dramatically. There was a time when customers would spend the weekend traipsing around rainy car dealer forecourts and kicking a few tires, but not anymore. The pandemic has meant car buyers can now do everything from the comfort of their own home. Buying a car online has never been easier, and there have been plenty of new entrants to the market wanting a slice of the used car business. I'm James Baggett, I'm the founder of Car Dealer Magazine, and today I'm at home to find out what buying a car online is like for myself, and to talk you through the process. For this video, I'll be buying my car from Carzan. They're one of the latest entrants to the market and rival the likes of Kazoo and Cinch in the used car marketplace. While for these guys selling online is the only way they like to do business, many other dealers are now getting in on the act too because of the pandemic. Now during the lockdowns and the toughest tiered restrictions, car dealers can only do business remotely, letting customers pick up via click and collect or offering home delivery. Carzam have a couple of collection centres, there's one in the north and one in the south, but for this video I'll be asking them to bring my new used car to me here at home. But just how easy is it to do? Let's give it a go and find out. Okay, so this is the Carzam homepage. There's full details on here of all the things you'd need to know to, to buy your used car, that how the online buying process works, how you can part exchange a vehicle if you've got one, details about their warranty, and then the information about the delivery or the collection if you want to do it. Importantly, buying a car online, one of the things that people worry about is, is if, what happens if they don't like it. So um, Carzam offer a 14-day money-back guarantee, which is effectively your test drive. You can try it if you don't like it. Like it you can send it back um, they've also got a 100 day warranty um, they give each of the cars a multi-point inspection to make sure they're uh, up to standard and then as i've mentioned you can take out car finance if you want now i went on the website earlier today and i've already shortlisted a few cars i've gone for some things that are rather interesting uh, the first being a volkswagen golf r it's 21,800 pounds 2017 model peugeot 208 gti uh, 68 plate at 11 and a half thousand pounds mini cooper s uh, 14 and a half on a 2017 plate and a bmw 1 series uh, 140i i think this is going to be the one that i go for so i'm looking at the listing now lots of information about the car um, you've got a, a 360 degree view of the uh, of the of the car that you can look at detail there's uh, 19 pictures there so i can see that it's in good condition now this model has done 14,171 miles, uh, as I mentioned, 68 plates, automatic, petrol, full lever. I really like the way that they've given icons for the most important specification. Can click a button that pulls up the full, full specification, obviously cars these days come in all manner of different specifications with lots of different things you can choose new. Clearly you can't do that used, but you want to know what's on it. Um, this one's got some, some nice extras, including the, the, the emergency call to BMW, damp radio and some other nice bits that i will probably like the uh, the other main optional extras in and the price that they cost are really heavily highlighted on the cars and website 2160 pounds worth of extras on this car which meant it would have been just over thirty six thousand pounds new okay so finance i don't want that but if i did it would be about 350 pound pcp or hp 500 pound on HP. Um, there are other, other options of cars I might be interested in. Funnily enough, that Golf R's come up again, but I am gonna stick with this one. So let's go down the, um, let's go down the purchasing process and, and see how that works. So I've decided this BMW is the one I wanna buy. I click in on the buy now button. Um, there's some details here about what's gonna happen next. So let's start. It says uh, create an account, then I'm gonna get a text message. Um, I'm not part exchange of vehicles, so I don't need to worry about that. Now I need to select my payment option, which is going to be a car payment. Full disclosure, Carzam knows I'm buying this, um, this car and they've give us, given us some dummy car details so we can buy this car as though we were paying for it on a, on a debit card. So let's give that a go. Now here's where I've put in my personal details. I've got to put in my address so they know where to deliver the vehicle to. Most of the online used car buying websites offer, offer next day home delivery uh, and Carzam have promised that for us. So I'm putting in my mobile details and address and hopefully they're going to know where to bring it to. Okay, so I'm just waiting for the text message to arrive that I needed to confirm it. There it is from Carzam. Um, open my phone uh, and I pop in the code and then that will confirm that the details I put in mean it's me. Okay, so I haven't got a part exchange, so I'm going to skip that part of it. 
Um, now I can choose whether I want a warranty on the car. You can opt for 12 months, 24 months, or 36 months. 12 months is 399 up to uh, 899 for 36 months. And I can also choose paint protection um, with Gardex if I want that. Um, I'm gonna go for the 12 month cover um, and I'm gonna go for the Gardex paint protection as well. That takes the price up to just over 23,000 pounds. So let's continue to the delivery section. Now here I've got the option to pick it up from their Northampton Collection Centre or their London one in Stratford. I'm gonna opt for the home delivery um, because we're in a lockdown and I don't really wanna travel. Okay, so I've opted for next day delivery. I've picked the morning slot from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, they're asking me if there's anything else I need to know about my address, there isn't. So uh, I'm gonna to continue to the payment. Okay, so as I mentioned, Carsam are aware that we're, we're doing this purchase and they've given us a dummy card number to use. So I'm just copying that across from the email I've been sent. Um, and that will hopefully mean that my car has been paid for. Um, let's have a look. That was a pretty simple process, wasn't it? I've been onto their website. I've had a good look through the cars. I've entered my details, found the one I wanted, and I've paid for it. I've had an email confirmation through now saying everything's good. All I need to do now is wait for the car to arrive tomorrow. So good morning. It's the uh, morning after I ordered the car and as you can see, it's just turned up and is being unloaded. So last night I had a phone call from one of the Carzam team. They explained what the process was gonna be after ordering the uh, car on the website to now. Um, I had to get the car insured. Then not long after that, I had a brilliant video from one of the team explaining some of the features and what the car looked like. And now this morning, I've had a text message from Paul the driver about an hour ago saying he was gonna be here. And here he is. Let's see what the car looks like. When my car arrived, driver Paul showed me around after he'd carefully disinfected the interior. We inspected it together, he showed me how things worked inside and talked me through the paperwork which we filled out on an iPad. To check I was who I said I was, he took a photo of me with some ID and that was it. In a previous video, I visited Carzam's preparation centre in Peterborough. Owner Peter Waddell showed me around the gigantic site where a team of mechanics worked 24 hours a day to turn around cars for sale on the website. At the time, they were gearing up to push 350 used cars a day through the facility. It was a little surprise then to see the BMW turned up as good as new. Paul even gave it a final once over with a chamois before handing me the keys. Well, that was pretty painless, wasn't it? I must say I'm quite shocked at how easy the whole process has been. Carzan walked me through the deal online and the personal touches along the way with the reassuring phone calls, text messages and emails have made a real difference. For those used car buyers that don't need or want to visit a used car dealership, buying online like this is actually an incredibly painless and efficient process. The deal was quick, it saved a huge amount of time and I didn't even need to leave home. Now, while buying this way won't be for everyone, there's no doubt it does work. And I can see why it's grown in popularity throughout the pandemic. For more car dealer videos like this one, you can log on to cardealermagazine.co.uk and click on the used car tab at the top of the page. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye.